I hope you're all doing well and you're having a great day. Um, we're about to get supposedly some really bad storms here. So I have gone out and taken my wind chimes down and made sure everything is in that can blow away and batten down the hatches. So we'll see how it goes. I'm honestly not expecting a whole lot, but we'll see. Anyway, if you watched my previous video, you may remember that I was waiting on a couple packages. Well, I got those and that's what we're going to look at today. So this first one is from Rabbit Hole Designs. That's the name that I could not remember to save my life. I knew it was something about a rabbit, but all that came to mind was bunny. Anyway, Rabbit Hole Designs. Um, looks like my kitties were trying to take a peek at this one. So we'll just go through that way. This wasn't a big one. There was one stamp that I was after. Uh, well, that tissue paper certainly didn't make it. Okay, so rabbit hole designs. I don't know if it's all the time. I don't want to say all the time and then it doesn't happen, but um, you usually get some freebies. So we got a little rabbit paper clip and then a baggie full of some sequins some really pretty iridescent ones in there okay and then their little thank you card and your invoice <clears throat> okay so this is just something I grabbed because uh, I do use the black ones these are uh, pop-up thumb squares uh, the black ones are great if you have a black die cut um, and you want to, you don't want that bright white showing behind it. Um, so the black ones are good to have on hand. I don't use them nearly as much as the white ones, but like I said, I do like to have the black ones on hand. And you get 217 in here, so that'll last me a while. Okay, and then this stamp set is called... Do we know? Oh, it's just called Hello. It says, has a bigger hello and a sun. And it says, um, how you doing? Which just makes me think of Joey on Friends. Um, you can say, hello, gorgeous. Hello. Oh, no, just wanted to say hello. Hello, friend. Hello, sunshine. So that's just good. I like to make, um, I donate my cards. And so I like to make just, you know, non- um, non-specific, like not for a holiday or a specific thing, just a general, hi, how are you? Just a note, hello, you know, that kind of thing. So that is perfect for that. And then, so this is the stamp set that I got on there for. It is called Love Puffin AP. <laughs> so it has puffins, <laughs> the one that just made me laugh was for my stud puffin. So I'm going to start calling my husband my stud puffin. I told him that and he just giggled. So um, there's also your puffin awesome. I puffin love you. Have a puffin good birthday. I'd be puffin without you. You're my love puffin. <laughs> oh my gosh. How cute are those? So that's what I got on there for. And then I also got the matching dies because we talked about how I hate fussy cutting. Um, so those cut out all the puffins for you. Okay, and then the last thing in this order, this is just a sentiment stamp that I like all the, the sassy snarky stuff. So this is called Sassy Birthday 2. Um... There's one that says, you have reached that age where you can no longer use the term good girl gone bad. Now you need to use her old ass should have known. <laughs> um, thanks for being born. It's a great excuse for us to get drunk and eat cake. From one fabulous bitch to another, happy birthday. At your age, you can go to antique stores and visit your old furniture. <laughs> At our age, BYOB now means bring your own Ben Gay. In dog years, you'd be dead. <laughs> so I just, I, if it makes me giggle, I usually have to buy it. 
So again, that is called Sassy Birthday 2. And all of those things are from Rabbit Hole Designs. And I will link their webpage down below. Okay, so get that out of the way. Now, this is the one that I was just as excited for, if not more, than my Scrappy Boy stamps order the other day. Uh, this is from Jaded Blossom. Uh, I love they have a stamp on the front that says, Caution, opening may cause uncontrollable screaming. <laughs> so that's funny. And I love the, the holographic bag they put in. And happy mail tape. Um, but Jaded Blossom is also another stamping and like paper crafting supply company. Um, if you've never heard of them. So they have had this entire gnome line for I, at least over a year. So they came out with the gnomes. Now these are all dies. They came out with the base gnomes and then they have come out with add-on packs for every single holiday, every single subject, every single thing you could possibly imagine for these. Now, while I think gnomes are cute, they're not really my thing. So I have never bought a thing. I've been tempted a couple times, but I never bought a thing until this time. <laughs> because one of my favorite YouTubers, she had posted, I think on Facebook, um, their April release. <clears throat> and I said, oh my gosh, this is where it ends for me. Okay, so the first thing I pull out of this is a little, uh, I don't know, it's kind of purple blue, so not sure which one. But this little tape measure, how cute is that? Now, I have one of these that I keep in my purse, um, and my boss at work needed a tape measure the other day, and so I just pull this little baby one out of my purse, and he just rolls his eyes, and I'm like, it measures, doesn't it? <laughs> So don't underestimate the power of the teeny tiny tape measure. <laughs> so that's a cute little, a cute little added bonus. Okay. There's a lot in this one. <clears throat> okay. So this one is called Fix Everything Tag. This was a free stamp. I know you had to buy one thing from the new release and spend a certain amount probably but this stamp I got for free so it has a hammer and says thanks thank you for always fixing everything for me <clears throat> so that's cute and that was free we like free okay I got these two items these are skin tone paper pads so, like, when I said uh, the gnome stuff, they're all dyes. You don't stamp anything. So, you're just cutting it all out of different colored paper. And this will be so convenient to get the different skin tones you need and not have to color so much. So, each of these pads has 24 double-sided sheets. And they're a different tone on either side. Say like this first page and then over is a different shade. And they are four by six. So I got two of those because all of those little gnomes are going to need lots of skin tones for their faces and their noses and their hands. So I thought those would be super convenient. Okay, what do we want to go through next? So let's go through these, the base sets. So, wow, that one's, <laughs> can you see how warped that is? <laughs> but they should be fine. It's mostly because they're still connected. You will need some uh, strong scissors to cut these apart or wire snips. But these are the base dies. We have the regular gnome and then we have girl gnome. And the girl gnome comes with hair. Um, and she also comes with a high sentiment. And the boy comes with a flower and a coffee mug. She's got little bows you can put in her hair. So I got both of the boy and girl base dies. 
Okay. So this is the beginning of the end for me. I'm finally into the gnome things. <clears throat> so here's what got me into the gnome things. So we are a Harley family. I ride, my husband rides, my son rides. Um, so when they came out with this one, um, I said that was it for me. Um, shoot, I meant to have pictures of the finished ones. And I hate that they don't put them on the packages. Anyway, the little gnomes you can make riding a motorcycle. And there are um, Christy Marcotte and Jaded Blossoms both did. I saw where they did the assembly videos. They show you how to do them and stuff. So you can have your little boy gnome on his motorcycle or you can have a biker chick make a little girl on her motorcycle. Oh my God, they are the cutest things. If this at all interests you, please look up the images. Just Google them. Um, Jaded Blossom, no motorcycle, I'm sure. We'll bring it up. But they are the cutest flipping things I have ever seen. And they, they totally got me with this one. <clears throat> So, this motorcycle also has a sidecar you can put on it. <laughs> so, then they got me with a whole nother die set because the one I saw, it had the male gnome riding the bike and it had a sidecar and there was a little puppy in the sidecar. And I couldn't believe it. And then I watched, I think Christy Marcotte did one where she just put tulips in the sidecar but they have another stamp set that it's how they got the puppy to put in the sidecar. So I had to get that too. Not a stamp set, die set, my bad. So with this, I can put the puppy, a cat, or a bunny rabbit in the sidecar. And there's even flowers. I think those are flowers. Yes, because there's a basket of tulips. So... You could put any of those in the sidecar. Now this is called Bicycle and Friends because it actually comes with a bicycle and there's a basket on the bicycle. So all of these things were meant to go in the bicycle basket, but they were using them in the sidecar for the motorcycle. How flippin' adorable is that? Oh my gosh, they totally got me with this one. Right up my alley. So excited. So then this is just a diamond plate stencil I got. I thought it might look cute as a background on some of those. And I do lots of motorcycle and vehicle themed things. My husband is a car guy. Like I said, we're a Harley family. So I think I have a diamond plate embossing folder too. So went ahead and got that stencil. And then this is the last thing. It's called the Born to Ride stamp set. Of course, had to get that one to go along. I already have some stamps like this, but let's see. Rolling with my Nomies. <clears throat> Happy birthday to my favorite biker dude. That will definitely come in handy. Um, when life gives you a curve, lean into it. I also have an old, old wooden stamp that says that. Bad to the gnome. When in doubt, throttle it out. That would go good for any of you motorcyclists or any vehicle enthusiasts bad to the bone gnome is where your right is so that's very cute can't wait to use all that now you see why i was so excited <laughs> i don't know if i will be brave enough um to attempt to assemble one of these on a video because it looked pretty pretty involved and so i'm gonna probably have to watch a video as i do my first one just to make sure i don't mess it up so again, all of those things are from Jaded Blossom. The first round was from Rabbit Hole Designs. And I will try to link, not try, I will link both of their websites down below if you're looking for anything specific, because there's a lot here, so I don't know that I will link it all. If you're looking for any of these specific items and you can't find them, just comment down below and I will try to assist you in any way I can. Um, other than that, I think that does it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.